Uh, it's quite personal. It's based on uh, a life of a young guy called Jethro Anson Nausty. Uh, uh, and it's in third person singular. Um, and it's a lot of it, most of it, most of it takes place in and around Darlington, County Durham, in uh, the northeast of England, uh, between 1963 and approximately uh, 1979, 1980. Um, unashamedly so. What else am I going to write about except what I what I know, uh, which that's what I knew at that time. Uh, but there's a lot of other stuff in there as well um, about literature, uh, about uh, travel, about culture, about music. Um, mostly, Ghost is about memories, uh, but also about places uh, which I grew up with, which are now gone, and and concepts which I grew up with, uh, and, and and which are also uh, now gone. Anyway. Um, here is one chapter as an example. Uh, which one did I choose? Oh yeah, okay, uh, 14, chapter 14. Uh, haunted bikes and haunted buses. After a cup of white coffee with two spoons of Tate and Lyle and a breakfast of four Weetabix, carefully arranged, two side by side and two more side by side crossways on with two more spoons of the white stuff, Mum warned him constantly if he ate too much sugar, he'd get worms, but it didn't stop him. Like Dad, he'd got a sweet tooth. He grabbed his bike and rode downhill to the newsagents owned by Mr. Hobson. Hobson's paper shop was on the corner directly opposite the bus station, and on the other corner, the tentative foundations of what would eventually be a new modern swimming pool, which would be known as the Dolphin Centre in 1982. The old bus station was a one-storey box of 100 yards by 50 yards in size, high enough to accommodate double-decker buses, built in the shape of a large horseshoe, with the entrance bottom right, United Automobile Services Limited, in big white plastic capital letters across the front, and the exit being the bottom left. It housed buses that serviced destinations all over the surrounding counties and the country, and was also the stopover for long-distance buses run by National Express. It was demolished in 2008 to make way for a cinema complex. Jethro can't say he misses standing in the fume-laden death trap waiting for buses whilst rubbing shoulders with seedy old men in grey max looking for cheap thrills in the public toilets very much, if he is brutally honest, and who can blame him. Municipal transport in Darlington ran from a different depot on Horton Road. This site is now given over to a health complex, another ghost. Darlington Borough Transport ran from 1912 to 1988 and wasn't a profit-making enterprise, but designed for the public good, which meant plenty of buses, plenty of drivers and well-serviced destinations, regardless of whether they were cost-effective. Three more ghosts, the depot, the buses and the principle of publicly owned utilities. This changed after the Conservative government's 1985 Transport Act, which introduced competition. DBT was repackaged as a limited company in an attempt to salvage the service, but it couldn't cope with the competition and was liquidated in 1994. But the state of a bike for any young kid is a lesson in engineering and technical maintenance. That's where it starts, personal transport. It enabled Jethro to enlarge his world considerably, from dependence on his parents or on his own feet to independence and adventure. He learnt about oil and oiling techniques, brakes and general cleaning and upkeep. Riding and balancing at the same time was an acquired skill as a paper boy. To help him deal with traffic with better judgment, he enrolled in a cycling proficiency course at the Posh Abbey Road Primary School. Attending every Thursday night for a couple of hours for six weeks, at the end he and a dozen other kids had learnt better control and hand signals and taken tests judged by a relevant adult and presented with an official looking certificate with his name on and told he was qualified to ride on the road and for a little while afterwards he followed those rules assiduously but just as any car driver will tell you from experience he was never as perfect as he was during that first and only test ghosts uh, now available uh, from my website www.tonystowers.com thank you very much cheers bye